Today we're going to be deep cleaning the inside of this Pontiac Grand Prix and this is going to be a 16 year old's first car. They just picked it up and this is what it came looking like. Now since this is somebody's first car, I want you guys to comment down below what is the first car that you ever owned and what was So I have my assistant Seth with me helping me out, um, but the first thing is to get all the trash out, remove those seats, get everything out of the way so that way we can start working on that carpet. Even though these floor mats were not rubber that were inside the car, they were cloth, which did help save the bottom carpet itself for the floor. So when it comes to pressure washing it and kind of cleaning that up with the extractor, there wasn't as much work to do. We kind of were able to concentrate on the floor mats and the carpet separately. Um, but getting all that stuff vacuumed up kind of showed that the carpets weren't horribly stained except for this rear passenger side. That was the worst portion of the carpet. <laughs> Now I thought the shot was pretty cool. We were both able to use the foxtail pet detailing brush to remove all of the dog hair from the floor carpet. And if you guys are looking to pick up a pet detailing brush, or if you have dog hair in your car, definitely head over to Fox Clean after this video and pick up yours today because they are the best on the market. They have a fine edge that allows you to get into all the nooks and crannies and all those tight spots against the plastic panels. This will beat out any other pet detailing brush out there. So if you are looking for one, head over there now and pick one up today. Now I want you guys to remember that this is after we have vacuumed and it doesn't include the seats, the floor mats, or the rear bench seats. This is how much dog hair we pulled out just from the floor after vacuuming. This is insane. Now, if you've never pulled out the rear bench of your seat, typically underneath the front part of it, there's a little tab that you can pull that unhooks it and they pop out pretty easily. Sometimes they're bolted in in the back with one bolt, but typically it's just two little pull tabs to get that rear bench out. So if you ever need to do that, that's something to consider because a lot of stuff can get hidden underneath there. And if you ever need to pull your carpet, it's definitely a necessity beyond pulling out the plastic panel trims on the side and the center console.
Now, if you're wondering why I pulled out the carpet, it's because sometimes when it comes to extraction, extraction can only go so far because the stains can get so embedded in the carpet itself, they get down into the pad underneath. And if you pull it out and pressure wash, it allows you to just do a more thorough job. You just need to make sure you have a place to hang it and then some way to dry it. In this case, we're actually detailing on location in Northern Ohio and today it was raining quite a bit and it was also like low 50 degrees, so it was quite cold out. Um, so we froze a little bit, but by pressure washing it, we let it hang up to dry. And then what we did is we used the extractor to extract out any remaining fluid that didn't drain off. One thing I didn't mention is we actually used just all-purpose cleaner on this carpet because it was a mix of stains between um, you know, organic fluids but also oil and dirt and everything else. So just by using all-purpose cleaner, the drill brush to kind of agitate and get all that dirt loosened up and then using the pressure washer to rinse it clean. Now one tip I have for you guys is something that I have used after this detail because I picked it up and it didn't come in in time, is when you have a full pet hair car or if you're spraying on wheel cleaner or doing an iron remover on your paint, having airflow across your face is nice because you don't get hair in your mouth or if you're just hot detailing, it keeps you cool. And that's why I recommend the Jisoo Life Portable Neck Fan Pro. It's a fan that just goes around your neck. It's super affordable. I have a link down below for Amazon to pick it up or their website with a 20% off coupon. It lasts up to 15 hours. It's got fan speed adjustability from one to 100. It's USB chargeable. And in one and a half to two hours, you'll get that full charge back. So it charges super, super quickly. It fits in your pocket, your bag. It's a great product, especially if you're outside working hard, whether you're working on your lawn, whether you're traveling and the theme parks with your kids, like I said, this is a product that I highly recommend because it just works. So check out that link down below in the description box and pick up yours today. So even though these carpets and the floor mats sat outside and kind of drained off, because it is, you know, gravity will pull it towards the bottom, there was still a large amount of fluid that was pooling in certain spots. So that's why I was just using my extractor to remove the fluid that was excess in those different areas. I think in every detail I tried different carpet lines out to see which ones I like better, but for this one I kind of did a zigzag type pattern at an angle. Um, I thought it was kind of a cool touch.
pressure washing them, this is the amount of dirty water that was pulled out just from the carpets after cleaning them. Now for all the interior panels in the car, I'm just using my all-purpose cleaner diluted 10 to 1, my detailing brush, and then I'm using the vacuum afterwards to suck up any remaining fluid, one from these carpeted panels, but also any of those like lines or those little um, uh, crevices in the door panels itself to remove any of the remaining fluid before wiping it down with my microfiber towel. Now for these seats, I am still using all-purpose cleaner because of the amount of filth and dirt in them, um, but I'm using my sprayer to spray it on, my drill brush to agitate it, and then once again my extractor with plain old hot water to uh, clean those up.
Now despite the age and mileage of this car, I was happy to see that the foam was in pretty good shape underneath the car, the actual fabric itself, um, but there was no stains that were unable to get removed and also there was no holes, which is really nice for the new owner. Now a nice benefit to removing the carpet is you have to remove all these trim panels from the doors but also the center console so that gives you access to the um, back side of them as, long as, as well as the front side so that way you can get those thoroughly cleaned to make sure there's no remaining pet hair in there um, behind those panels and also just saves your back and saves you having to crawl in and out of the car.
And for the windows, I'm just using my Invisible Glass Reach Tool and Invisible Glass Cleaner. Uh, this stuff works awesome as being streak free and this reach tool just helps you a ton with getting into that front of that dashboard area along with the rear glass, especially on a sedan or a coupe. 